My parents were immigrants. Um, you know, they moved from Iraq to America, and I was I was not born at the time. Um, they had me and my sister a few years later. I was born three years later, my sister five years later. And um, that was a challenge because, um, you know, just growing up in America, um, you know, at, with immigrant parents and also being, um, you know, um, not having money as well was, was a bit of a challenge. My parents were on welfare, but I think also just, you know, just not having certain means, like, I mean, even basic means, like, you know, was really a challenge. And I think I always felt a little bit um, inadequate, um, you know, when it came to my surroundings, I definitely felt like I was not up to the measure that my peers were at. And it felt really bad. And it definitely built this, this thing in me where I never felt like I was good enough. And it was a struggle because it took me a long time to realize why I always was trying to prove myself. Who was I always trying to prove myself to? Um, but it was, you know, I feel like I'm still fortunate to have figured that out. Some people never realize why they have these feelings and they have these emotions. And when I finally had that like epiphany where I was like, oh my God, I'm still trying to prove myself. I'm still trying to prove to these kids from Tennessee that I'm good enough. Um, it was kind of like this startling realization. It was like, whoa, <laughs> do I still struggle with that? Do I still feel inadequate? A lot of times, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's a feeling that is, is, is you know, it's, it's within me. Um, I'm doing my best to get out of it. And, um, you know, I have, I have the most amazing surroundings and they help me, but you know, it's a, it's a lot of times it's us. We are our worst enemies. We either doubt ourselves, we don't trust ourselves enough. Um, you know, we don't believe in ourselves enough and that's not the right thing. You know, confidence is amazing. You know, I think it's very important that people know the truth about beauty and they know that, you know, fixing things is never going to make you feel, it's never gonna make you feel better if you do it for other people. If it's something for yourself, then, you know, you can do it. I just think there's a, there's a lot right now around you know the pressures to to be a certain way and to um you know to look a certain way as somebody who's in the industry in the beauty industry i have a huge responsibility to try to be honest with our followers because the reality is that you know we post these pictures that look perfect um and you know and we you know they're photoshopped they're facetuned we have so much makeup on you know is is that right that it may create this this feeling within people that they need to be more beautiful yeah, it might. And that's why being honest is really important. On our wishful page, we specifically wrote that we are not wearing any makeup. We're not photoshopping. We're not face tuning. We're not using filters because, you know, filters are, you know, sometimes they make you look really good. So, um, so I think it's really important to have that honest conversation. If we are going to do what the industry, you know, expects to also have that honesty within the industry as well and to push other brands to do that too. Our photo shoot for wishful you know, when we created the skincare line, I was also kind of frustrated with some of the photos I'd seen in the industry for skincare, where the women looked perfect, where the women were photoshopped, where the women were wearing makeup for skincare. Um, and I said to my team, I really want to do this photo shoot. I don't want to wear any makeup and I don't want us to photoshop the images. And so the day of the photo shoot came and all of a sudden I started feeling so much anxiety. And I knew I was going to be taking these photos and I knew I wasn't gonna have my makeup and I knew if the photos weren't perfect, those were gonna be the photos. And, uh, and so I started feeling really insecure when I had to go take the photos. And I love being in front of a camera. And you know, all of a sudden I got in front of the, pho the photographer and I didn't know how to pose. I lost all my confidence. I lost all that, that, that strength that I had built before. Um, and I realized you know, I did not have my armor. I didn't have my makeup. And I didn't also have the Photoshop that you know, I could depend on if, if the photo was not perfect. And I just felt really, really vulnerable. And I remember I didn't want to look at the photos. It was, it was a really strange feeling. Um, and I didn't expect myself to feel that way. And then I saw the photos and I had like this really emotional kind of epiphany where I looked at it and I was like, Huda, that woman, she is not perfect, but she is who she is. She's worked so hard. And the fact that she's not perfect makes her who she is. And damn it, that's beautiful. You deserve to love her. She deserves to be loved. And I had this, this like emotional breakdown on the photo shoot, but it's really beautiful.